Hello, and in this video, I'm going to show you just quickly how you can apply dither effects like these to your videos and animation work. We're just going to be using Dither Boy and you don't need any other software here. Just obviously some footage or an animation you've made to actually dither as well. Just quickly, if you are not familiar with Dither Boy, this is an app we've been working on all year. It's had a bunch of free updates. We've got more updates coming in the works currently. And I'm just going to go over how video works with color in the newest update. I've covered video in Dither Boy before and I've covered color separately, but I'm just going to cover them both together in this one so it will be a very long video here i've obviously got dither boy open already and i've got some footage which i will show you on screen right now i just got this from pexels which has a library of video footage basically on there it doesn't really matter what video you use here you don't need to use the same one as me but to get started just make sure you are on the latest version of dither boy and to do that open up dither boy and go to help and click on check for updates and you'll be able to fill out the info there and get the newest version if you don't already have it. Next, with Dizzaboy open, go to file, video and import video. So I'm importing mine now. The only thing I would say here is just don't import. If you're used to working with videos, you'll understand what I'm saying here, but don't import any crazy, like if you're gonna try and dither a 90 minute video that's 4K, just go and cut out the part that you need to dither and import that rather than the whole thing. Um, obviously, just be sensible with it. Like, don't import anything too crazy. It might still work, but you might just get unexpected results. So we've now got this preview frame here. So you can flick through your frames if you want to, just to make sure that this recording stays intact. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, you can start having a click through if you want. I'm not going to go crazy with that on mine. But firstly, we just need to apply an effect. So I'm going to go to Floyd Steinberg first, and I'm just going to turn up the scale so that you can see the actual dots so they're not too fine for you. And the new element here is the depth slider. So depth will shade in your dithering with multiple layers of color. If you do that without a color palette loaded, it will just go to five and it will be grayscale. But if we turn that back to zero or two, sorry, and go to palette category, choose a color palette so if i open abstract and then i'm going to choose this crystalline crystalline i don't even know how you say that even though i named it i'm going to choose this palette and then turn up the depth and you'll see we start getting this palette coming through in the shading if we change and i go to retro and if i choose this one called hot rod and we turn it up you'll see it shades in differently and every shade every palette will firstly be tied to the depth slider. So you find like a, a sweet spot for the depth slider that works with your image. So if I go to eight on the rose bushes palette in the acid graphics category, which I'll leave a link to download this by the way, below the video. If we go here and start messing with the contrast, you can influence it further and pull in more or less from the palette. So you have more control than just the depth slider here. Uh, obviously you've still got scale, and the good thing is every single algorithm here works with your color settings. So if we move to modulated diffuse, you'll see the lines appear. The new algorithm comes through, but the same color settings come through as well. If we go to waveform, you can do all the same edits you were doing before to color and depth, but into the new algorithm as well, because we've redone every single algorithm to support color, basically how this works. So. This one looks quite cool if you go to checkers. But anyway, let me pick what I'm actually going to export with here. I quite like this one, but I want to make it kind of crunchy here. So one of the hardest things about filming Dither Boy tutorials is like, obviously parts where I don't talk get cut out of the tutorial. So it's just making sure I actually talk while I'm messing with the settings because you can kind of get just hooked on just messing with this a little bit just because it's satisfying to play with but anyway i'm gonna go with this so we've got the ostromakov dither hopefully i'm pronouncing that right i probably should have picked an easier dither to say out loud for the video scale of six we're in the acid graphics category with the rose bushes shader 72 contrast 27 midtones 73 highlights 84 luminance threshold no blur but i might add a little bit of blur just to smooth out some of the lines so i'll go like 15 blur and depth of eight all obviously remains editable until you want to export so there's like a couple of iterations here that look really really cool even though we're using the same shader 
Yeah. So like if I turn the depth down to six and we remove the green and the red here, that looks quite cool as well. But yeah, I'm just going to keep it at eight so I get the green still. Once you're happy with what you've got, if you've got multiple parts of an animation or a video that you wanted to do with the exact same settings, I would recommend just clicking here to save the preset. So you just name it, whatever the video project you're working on is, it's always good to have this stored so you can apply the same dither to your next clip or the next part of the footage or whatever, whatever you need. I'm not going to do that for this video. Now, if you want to just export this frame, if you just like this frame of the video, then you can just do regular export. But if you come up to file, video and export video, this is where you are going to need to go to get the actual footage put back together. So I'm just going to name mine demo footage tutorial. So click save and you'll see it starts processing your frames back together. Now I'll just take this part of the video to say we are working on video improvements. The one that you're probably thinking to ask for, I don't like to promise things in updates. If you go look at the, the previous videos like I've never once said we're definitely doing color. Never once said we're definitely doing video or never like, I don't like to try and promise things because I wouldn't want anyone to buy this thinking, oh, they're going to add that. I would rather you just wait until we added the thing before you part with any of your money. But the feature that you are thinking of asking for for video is the most requested feature. And I'm not going to guarantee it or promise it. But there is movement on that and it's like, we're, we're doing stuff. So that's all I'll say. Obviously, Dither Boy will get more updates. It's not reached its final destination. But yeah, we're going to, we're working on video. We're going to try and improve video more. Did not expect people to want video so much. So that was why it didn't launch with stuff like this. But anyway, video export is complete now. So if I go pull this up and just play it here, you can see I'm on Windows and I have different software for playing my videos. And I've been working with video for years and animation for years. When I'm on my MacBook, when we were testing all this, I had to install some more video codecs just for like certain videos that I do that. I think Mac maybe comes with a limited number of video codecs in comparison to Windows. But yeah, if you have any issues where like one color might look slightly off, then I would recommend just installing some more video codecs. Obviously, what you got to remember here is the video footage before had loads of color. An average video, this video of me here, even though my skin is all the same pale color everywhere you know there's there's tons of different if you eyedropper picked every part of my face and my arms and the wall and whatever there would be so many different colors so if this video is incorrectly representing one particular hue it's probably not very noticeable whereas in this because we've reduced the colors down to just one two three four five six seven eight colors here if the green is slightly off for you it could be your screen. It could just be the video codec you've got installed. It's not necessarily a fault at the Dither Boy level because we've like optimized this as much as we can. That's just a bit of a disclaimer that I don't know, probably no one even needs, but it's just something to be aware of because we've reduced the color fidelity so much in this video. If anything looks slightly off, then it's probably a problem that's present in other videos for you as well. You just don't notice because there are hundreds or thousands or millions of colors in your average thing that you watch. Anyway, this process is the exact same for any other video you've got. So as well, I'm just going to save this as just an image too, so I can put that in the old thumbnail. But that is it. That's exactly how it's did a video. If you like updates like this now, where we've now got color and video and presets and color palettes and stuff, then your support for Dither Boy makes this happen. So thank you for supporting Dither Boy and thanks for supporting the channel and all that stuff. If you enjoyed this, I would also recommend watching one of the videos I uploaded like one or two before this about Color Cat because you can actually make your own color palettes here so you could apply your own custom coloring, not just one of our presets to a video like this or your own video as well. So I'll leave that on like the end screen thing. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.